there's this video going around called What Really Happens to an Atheist When They Die by Sugarnut. It has over 20,000 views. And, well, you should see a little bit of it for yourself. Anyway, it was you who chose to come down here. The guy upstairs gave you a way out. But like so many of the ones you hear crying out in agony down here, you chose to ignore the truth and fell for my lies. <laughs> Anyway, I got a few friends who are just dying to meet you. And they will be your master, and you will be their slave. They will be ripping you to shreds, tearing every inch of your flesh from your body, and just when you feel ready to die, again, your flesh will regenerate, and then will repeat this process for, uh, uh let's say about an eternity. <laughs> If you want to see the rest of it, it is in the description box below and in the adaptation right around here. Yes, Sugarnut, your God loves us so much that if we don't believe in him, we're going to burn. All atheists are going to burn in hell because we have no proof or evidence for him. And since we don't believe in him, we're going to burn. Sounds like a loving God, right? In the Bible, your God says that he's loving, he's caring, he's kind. Then again, at the same time, it contradicts itself with all the murder and killing and, well, you know, the huge flood. But, hey... I'm not going to judge character here. I've said it many times to you, Sugarnut, as well as many of my audience here, about how we have no souls, about how everything that we are, everything that we have in, are, is in our brains. And that once that's messed up, once that's, once that's destroyed, once that is destroyed, we're gone. Everything about us is completely gone. No proof for uh, our soul as there was a proof for a soul being in a car. Or proof that a flying monster exists. No proof. No evidence for it. Same with your God. I've proven dozens of times how your uh, arguments uh, have been debunked. I've debunked several of them myself. Uh, there's a video uh, by Romans Pones Jesus. I can't remember the exact uh, username. The uh, annotation be around here somewhere. Well, he has pwned you several times in videos about you lying and stuff, which I quite enjoy. I find this video funny because you actually believe this shit. At first, I thought... Maybe Sugarnut's just a troll. Maybe he doesn't actually believe what he believes, what, what he says he believes anyway. But then again, trolls can't be this stupid. Then there's the whole fact that uh, in any videos you say you're a tattoo artist, and yet you're a major Christian. In the Bible, it's in Leviticus. I think it's Leviticus 19.28. It says that you should not uh, cut the flesh or markings uh, for your dead. Uh, you should not get any... Um, Tattoos. Basically saying you cannot get any tattoos. Uh, according to Leviticus, I think it's 1928. Whenever somebody does talk about Leviticus 1928, you say, oh, that was the Old Testament. That's the Old Testament. We're not talking about that, yet you don't like homosexuality because the God uh, says so. Your God says so. In the Old Testament, uh, mind you, same for the other Ten Commandments. And also worship again on Sunday. That's a big thing. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, God does not want you to cut the flesh for your dead or get any tattoos or piercings. You ignore that. I just love how you Christians just pick and choose what you want the Bible to say, what you want it to say, when it's right there in black and white. What I find funny about this video is, well, besides the fact that you believe in this shit, and the fact that others believe in it, is the, uh, the fact that you disabled ratings. Well, you disabled ratings all the time because you're a coward and you don't want people to uh, express their opinion. But what I find even more funny than the ratings disabling would be the comments. For example, this one comment, which should be down below, which should be... Huh. That's weird. You disabled the comments, too. Says something, huh? Oh, well.